Hi again everyone, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games. Uh, this is Developer Diary uh, for Alpha Run X. Um, and this is now a Saturday and it is... You can see the date? The 21st. 21st of April. So I did a couple of videos yesterday, uh, last night, and I was pretty tired so I was talking a little bit slurry. So maybe today I'm a little bit more awake because I, I have some more coffee. And it's, uh, it's 2 o'clock, well nearly 3 in the afternoon. So, for those of you who are new to the videos, the developer diaries basically are just uh, sort of a video recording, a, 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 a sort of a diary style of me developing games, uh, how I design, how I code, and there's no um, real structure to this, it's just, uh, part of it is just to show people how independent developers like myself work and how we build mobile games for iPhone and Android using Unity 3D. So. You know, I just kind of sort of code and I kind of talk. But hopefully, a lot of you who are who are looking to become game developers, who perhaps or who uh, or people who are already basic or in intermediate developers, might find this useful. You know, so you can always feel free to throw me a comment, an email, um, and then I can answer any questions as I go along as well. So hopefully, you guys find this useful. But apart from that, hopefully, you just find it interesting. You can see how how game development works for iPhone and Android. So yesterday, basically, we um, we did a couple of updates to the game, and I'm going to show I'm going to show the game so far. So for those of you who have just come to this video, the idea is this little character we're calling Bit has to avoid these blocks, and the way to avoid them is either to jump or to duck. And I'm jumping away here. I'm, I'm clicking. I'm actually using the uh, the keyboard on my Mac test this at the moment but this is the, the first build will be for iPhone and then I'm going to do an Android version as you can see these blocks get faster and faster and the okay and it gets harder as well especially those ones where you have to jump and duck at the same time so it becomes a real challenge as these things get faster and faster the kind of target for this game is is uh, more sort of old school arcade players who maybe really enjoy hard games uh, like I do. This isn't really a, a cute. It's obviously not, not a cute, cuddly game where um, there's a lot of instant kind of gratification and, and uh, a lot of rewards and things like that. This is just hardcore skill gaming. Okay. So I just died. You could see at the end there what we're what we're having the problem is is that you can't actually avoid those blocks at the end because they're spawning too fast. It's just too 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 fast for anyone to deal with. So what we're going to do is basically go in and make some adjustments to the uh, to the spawn rate of these blocks that are coming in, so that it doesn't become an impossible situation for the player. So here we have maximum spawn rate. I think probably zero point five five. So that's the maximum amount of the, 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 the longest, the shortest amount of time between spawning one of these blocks. They also have a speed value here as well, which can be adjusted. But I think the speed is okay. It's just the the spawn rate really that I've got to that I've got to adjust. We'll see how that goes. Because we, we don't want to put the player into an impossible situation where they can't get out of it. Because uh, that would basically be completely unfair. And this is pretty much what, uh, you know, uh, this is kind of like the tweaking phase. Uh, you know, the main gameplay is already down. It's uh, I know what this game is supposed to be like. That's what it's supposed to look like. It's meant to look like a very old, almost like Atari-style game. Uh, okay, there's, there's a bug. You see his head has disappeared. Which is a problem. The head disappears, so that's a problem. Um... I think that must be down to the animation. Um, it might be skipping a frame in the animation, so what we want to do is make sure that that head stays, uh, that head appears after after the uh, after the, the character bit gets hit by a block. We must make sure that the head continues to appear. If it disappears, that's a problem, of course. Um, so I think what we'll need to do is look into the animation section. I'm trying to just keep a track of the time here, guys, so that I keep the videos below uh, around 10 minutes. I think 15 minutes is the maximum for YouTube, so... So 
So what is happening there is it looks like it's skipping the last frame of the animation. And what that, what that is causing it to do is keep the head invisible because this is basically this is this is the this is the animation curve editor here for the for the uh, the flashing head. So as you can see as I scroll along you can see the head flashing on and off. What's happening I think is it's missing this last frame that turns the head on. It might skip it just because of the it, I think it might be because the the um, as other processes going on uh, are going on on the uh, in the Mac, basically it's skipping that frame so that it remains in in the right time. It becomes frame rate independent. So what I think with all that I will need to do probably is just add another frame at the say I don't know two and a half two two and a quarter seconds here to make sure that stays at one. So that if this this individual frame here at two seconds does get skipped it's not likely that this one will get skipped as well. So hopefully that should solve the issue. But if it comes if it comes along again, or if anybody else sees it after the game goes live, please let me know and I'll adjust that as well. Okay, so we'll give this another try and we'll also see how that spawn rate affected the, uh, affected the gameplay, the spawn rate of the blocks. Because we need to, we basically need to make that right. This Alpha Runner game is actually part of the X series of games, which uh, which I've been de developing now for a couple of months. Um, I, there's around nine games in the X series, uh, and there's hopefully you like a few of them, especially for gamers who enjoy uh, a good challenge, old school arcade challenge. Okay, I'm just gonna. Uh, we've got to hit something. Yeah, you have a little bit of time before the next one spawns after you get hit, so you just get a little breather window in there. Okay, my head just got hit. Oh crap! Ah! Ah! Okay, I need to test this again. I need to get to the, the sort of the maximum difficulty to see if I can get past it. I, I've played these games quite a lot, so I think you know the I think I can get quite far on these and it's also a it's a good test. Um, because what we want to do is make sure that the players can't play forever. It, the, the difficulty must increase. Okay, so there we go, I had a, the problem again, the head disappeared. Um, so that's something I'm gonna have to look into and figure out. But this is this is generally how the development process works. You know, we come along with these these small bugs, and um, and toward especially towards the end of development, we have to figure these things out. So that's pretty normal. Um, sometimes the bugs are kind of easy, but this one it might be easy. It might not be. Um, we get to figure that one out. But this this kind of thing happens all the time. It's just part of the development process. So. I'm going to stop the video there guys, but I'm going to come back and turn another one on in a few minutes and I will catch up with you soon. So don't forget to grab the next video in the series um, and I will keep them in a playlist so that you guys can just keep them rolling. So, okay, bye bye.